Hey folks, Ashley here, Just Horse and Man, your Dutch and Cook. So guys, I want to start bringing y'all into the collection and I want to start going through and teaching y'all the fascinating history on these pans. So each pan has an amazing story to tell. And so I just want to go through and kind of start showing y'all some neat things and giving y'all some history on these pans. And you know, if you're starting a collection, I want to start showing you some things you can kind of look out for and um, just kind of slowly go through it. Um, we're going to still do our cooking videos and our other informational videos, but it's really time to really start introducing these cast iron and their history and where they're coming from and where they've been and everything. Um, like I said, it's fascinating really when you start digging into it. So I was on Facebook the other night and my awesome antique dealer, he had posted a skillet, you know, it looked pretty ordinary until I started flipping through the pictures. And as soon as I saw this marking on this pan, I had to have it. And so I jumped on there real quick. I said, it's sold, it's mine, I, I will come get it. And of course, you know, get up there and um, had to do a little shopping. Got us a few new pieces, love the new pieces. I cannot wait. I've got one piece that I have wanted for so, so long. And we've got one, we've actually got another one that Danny's holding for, for us. Sorry guys. <laughs> I tell you, it wouldn't be a video without some kind of interruption. Wouldn't happen any other way, though. So, anyways, Danny's got another one just like it. I'm super excited to get them. I'm excited to get them out on the jobs and start showing y'all and um, using them. And, you know, it, it's, it's going to be neat. I'm super excited. So, Danny had this skillet on sale. Not on sale, but for sale. And um, so, it looks like you're just ordinary skillet. Okay. See this? So it's got the number eight. See this? It's a gate mark, okay? So from that gate mark, it automatically tells me this pan is from the 1800s, okay? So 1890, they quit casting them the way they were casting them that caused that mark, okay? So when they casted them in the sand molds, okay? It had been like this, it was a top pour, okay? So when they broke open that mold, they'd have to break that off. So it left this mark. So it automatically tells me that this pan's history is coming from the 1800s. It's, to me, exciting. I think it's fascinating. I really do, because I can only really imagine, you know, what this pan was used for, where it was used, things like that. So it's kind of neat. Um, I have one other pan with it, and it's this cute little pot. I just love this little pot. Um, I just, let's see here. Let's see here. Y'all see that right there? That's a gate mark. Now, most of the time, I mean, there was never any markings of like the company that made them. The manufacturers just avoided putting that on there. Um, like that was from, from all the way up to 1890, they quit casting them that way. Okay, so after 1890, they no longer have that gate mark because they, you know, new ways come along and they try new ways and make them look better, and, you know, try to improve things. So they started side pouring and everything and so there's no longer that they found a way to no longer cause that gate mark and then i think it was about 1960 is when they started making these pans put made in the usa on them so there are certain things you know that, like i said it's, it's changed over time and new rules added or new ways made and you know companies change hands they want to do different things so we're gonna start walking through that and I wanna start pointing things out to y'all. It's, it's really, really neat, I'm telling you. Um, so guys, if you need any help with anything, please get in contact with me. Any questions, anything, if you're looking for some neat antiques, Danny is your guy, he's from Boxside, Arkansas. He is awesome to work with, really nice guy. It's not just cast irons he has, he has a little bit of everything, guys. I am telling you, he is your guy. So guys, if you have, like I said, any questions, come to me, we are here to help. Um, Appreciate each and every one of you and all your support. So, guys, we'll be back through with another video on these pans real soon. And get y'all a cooking video real soon, too. Thanks, guys.